guys, what is up? It's Felix by Lottie and welcome to today's video. If it's your first time here on my channel, then welcome. I'm so glad to see you here today. If you like videos about makeup, make sure to subscribe down below. Currently my upload schedule is all over the place because I'm doing 13 days of Halloween and also posting other random videos. So you're getting a lot of content this month. So definitely make sure to subscribe. If it's your second, third, fourth, or however many times you've been here on my channel, then welcome back. It's so good to see you here again. Make sure that your notification bell is pressed on so you never miss any of my uploads. Today we are going to be completing a classic Halloween look a skeleton. Ooh. Last year I did a skeleton right here. It was my first attempt. She was okay. I also did another skeleton around New Year's. Now this was a little more of an okay. That also took me like three hours. Hoping that that doesn't happen tonight though. <laughs> I, I have to laugh. I'm sorry. This is so- There's a video that I saw on YouTube by Juliana Maria that inspired today's look. So all the credits go to her. Make sure you subscribe to her and all those fun things. But yeah, without further ado, I need to put my base on. So I will see you in one second. So first we're gonna go in with my eyes. I have like a bunch of palettes laid out here so that I can just go in on my face. So let's go. First, I'm gonna take my Morphe Live in Color palette, which this was the one that was released in 2019. And I'm going to go ahead and set down my first shade, which is going to be Heart. So this skull that I'm doing is going to be a pink slash purple neon skull. So if you're gonna follow along and you can use these colors or similar colors, or if you wanna substitute your own colors, it's your prerogative. It's your life. And we are just going to be doing a halo eye here. Nothing too crazy. So we are not going to flip this out. Sorry to ruin your days. Next, I'm gonna go into the Morphe X Flashback Mary palette and I'm gonna take this pink shade right here and blend out this light pink that I already put down. Now I'm going to go into that same palette and pop this hot pink shade into the crease. The next shade I'm going to add is going to be this purple shade right here and we're gonna add it in the outer and the inner corner of each eye. All right, next I'm going to cut the inner part of my crease a little bit just to clean it up so that when I put down the next couple shades, it'll be super bright and poppy. Pew, pew, pew. Next, I'm gonna go into my 39S Such a Gem palette, also from Morphe, and I'm gonna take this shade right here. For somebody who doesn't like Morphe, I'm using a lot of Morphe palettes in this look. Oh well. Now we're gonna go back to the Flashback Mary palette and take that hot shade, hot shade, the hot pink shade again and put it on the, yeah, put it on the crease. Chase okay, so And now to deepen it up, I'm going to add a little bit of this shade from the Morphe 39S into the inner and outer corner, inner and outer corner of each eye. All right, so now I'm gonna do basically everything I did on the top eye, on my bottom eye, but in reverse. Eye, top eyelid, bottom eyelid. I swear the heat is getting to me. All 
All right, now it is time for me to put on my lashes and liner and then we'll be getting into the creepy details. See you in a second. Boop. Now it's time to put the shadows on my face. Woo, woo. First, we're gonna start with our hot pink shade and I'm going to trace it down my, this is not my jaw, but down cheekbone, cheekbone. I really hope this doesn't stain. Now I'm going to add some dimension with a purple eyeshadow. And not only are we gonna use that purple eyeshadow, but we're gonna go into the Morphe X Jaclyn Hill Volume 2 and use the shade Dance Party to deepen up our pink spots. like blending around my mouth and I think I keep on getting eyeshadow in my mouth. <laughs> All right, so next what I'm going to do, oh no, it looks so weird. Uh -huh. Next what I'm going to do is that I'm going to outline my um, jawline and then also add some teeth. To do this, I'm going to just do this with concealer and then a liner brush. I'm not doing this with a cake liner because later on I am going to add some shadow onto this. And I don't think shadow on top of cake liner will look really good. Save some time, I'm going to buff in my concealer off camera just because I know it's gonna take a while and I don't want my phone to run out of storage. So I'll be back. So now on the concealer, I'm gonna add a mix of our neon bright pink and this pink that we first used at the beginning of our tutorial. And now I'm gonna go in with the Midas Cosmetics Kittermos Pesto Cake Liner Palette, taking the white shade right here and just drawing a really, really tiny line through here and also through the teeth. I think I'm gonna use a smaller brush for this. Now lastly, we gotta do the nose. Is this lastly? I don't even know. 
I've been doing this for two hours now. But we are gonna follow the same steps that we did with the mouth. So hot pink, then the blue, probably add a little bit of the middle pink that we used, and then concealer. My phone ran out of storage, so I don't know where it stopped, but let's do my nose now. To tie this whole look together, I'm gonna add a bunch of different highlights. I'll be listing them in the corner as I apply them because it's just too much to introduce all of them right now because I'm tired, honestly. Okay, let me fix my hair and change my outfit and give you my final thoughts. All right, y'all, so here is my final look. How are we feeling? Personally, I'm feeling tired because that took so long to do. But let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. Are you gonna be doing any skull looks for Halloween this year? If so, what colors are you gonna be using? Are you gonna be doing a neon skull or something different? Let me know. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I appreciate every single one of you. Now go ahead, leave a like and a comment. Make sure you subscribe and also turn on notifications so you know when I post my next video. Now I was gonna go out to the jazz club tonight, but I got no body to go with. You need to leave. Another bad joke, but I'll see you guys later. Bye.